uh, wearing masks and uh, keeping social distances, uh, people are spending usual lives. And but uh, hotels, restaurants, or entertainment business are suffering very big damages. They started booking, but it's very limited and very slow. And uh, some venues started crowdfunding, or they are making T-shirts for their business. Yeah, I'm very excited to play in front of audience, but uh, they have to uh, wear mask masks and uh, they have to uh, stay at their seats. But I'm very excited. I did cycling and I was cooking and I tried to many new menus for me. So I upload uh, my uh, photograph of cooking on my SNS, so please check them out. Yeah, um, I tried to make ethnic foods like uh, Mexican, Indian, uh, Thai food, Vietnamese, like that, and also uh, I made many uh, sweets like thick soft pancakes and uh, today I made a scone I made uh, this, these scones today and uh, it's very easy to make and very delicious and uh, I also made a mask by myself and I like to watch uh, The Great Sewing Bee uh, of a BBC TV program. Uh, we just started to make plans for 2020 uh, when lockdown started, but everything is suspended. So, uh, anyway, I hope uh, everything will be back normal soon. Uh, I miss uh, our fans and I like to see our fans all over the world and also uh, I miss delicious food and uh, beautiful scenery during our tours. Every song is fun for me to play. Uh, but I've ever covered this song, uh, Journey's song, uh, Don't Stop Believing. It was very fun for me to play, especially uh, singing. And uh, I would like to cover Ozzy Osbourne and the Pilot in the future. Okay, it's like this. Uh, start from C sharp and like this. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
you can uh, play this twice. Okay. And now uh, I would like to play Happy Birthday Damnably song. Okay. Damnably. Fingers. Well, it's it was a new way of doing it. A new <laughs> attitude. I'm just giving you shit. Do I need to clap my hands again and say yeah? No. Hey, we're um, <laughs> we're from Wussy. I'm Chuck. This is Lisa. We're um, going to do a song called Isabel by a band um, called Unrest from way back in the woods. Yep. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> birthday I'm gonna happy birthday kind of slightly reword some of these questions to maybe but I'll try to stay true to the 
to fit our to clumsy this, answers. To the spirit of them. All right. They want to know how we are and and what things are like here where we live and how we stay sane. Assuming well, that we stay sane. We don't. Um, but it's not that much different. I think, yeah, no, we're relatively all right. You know, I mean, um, to varying degrees, um, it, well, I know at least she and I are kind of hermity. Um, Life hasn't well, really changed all that much. I it mean, has and it hasn't. It has and it hasn't. I mean, it, you know, we're going through all the protocols and stuff that, you know, uh, lots of hand washing, wearing masks, not going out a whole lot. Um, but with the exception of wearing the mask, it's kind of the it's way I was, was anyway, thing. you know, and her too. I, I don't really go out much, so... It, that hasn't really been a problem. Um, not being able to to play shows has has kind of been a bummer. Um, so that kind of leads me to their next question, which is about live stream shows um, and how um, a lot of fans have been enjoying them. And um, you know, why why do we do it? Do you feel that it's helped people? Um, has it helped us? Um, people have, have said it helps them. I mean, they, they respond every week, um, that it's one of the few things that they look forward to, um, which is kind of sad. But, it's not sad. But, well, I mean, uh, I, I just kind of wish they, they had They call it comedy here. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. Us being us, I guess, is just funny, I suppose. I don't know. Um, but, and yeah, I mean, it's it's it, it's kind of cool. Uh, I was going to say practicing, but we so rarely practice that um, when you watch one of our live streams, you're kind of watching practice. Um, so, but no, it, 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 I guess it gives us something to look forward to, too. Um, to, to, to. It does. Um. This will be the first week we've taken off. Yeah, this coming week we're taking off because um, we both work at an antique mall and they're having a big um, yard sale. Um, and so we're taking part in that. And so we're, instead of not practicing, we're going to gather stuff for the yard sale, I suppose. Um, so uh, they ask about some of the new songs and do you, are we going to be recording some of those once we're able to I hope so I mean it remains to be seen um we're we're pretty um strict editors so there's always a chance somebody in the band might say ooh that's terrible and uh then we don't do it but um yeah I hope so yeah I mean that's the plan anyway it's it's kind of hard to make long range plans because we really don't know what's going on but um yeah yeah we're eventually we'll yeah we'll record them right mm -hmm. oh yeah i would think i would think all of them will be recorded at some point in some fashion whether or not we'll release them Lately, lots, always... of, lots of our songs we've probably got as many songs that haven't made records as that have um we just don't I don't know. Sometimes a song just doesn't fit a record, and it could be a great song, but it just doesn't fit, you know. So um, the next question um, is kind of a layered one, but I I may distill it if that's all right down to kind of a single thought. And how do you feel about how batshit crazy our country is right now? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, the thing is, you know. <laughs> It's always been batshit crazy. It's always crazy. been batshit crazy. I mean, it's just people are emboldened now to be publicly um, insane or publicly it's, we, racist, publicly... The assholes have been let loose. I mean, it's just like... They feel very free to speak, and they are the free to time, speak. At the same time, though, but, I, to, I've always known they were there, you know, ever since I was a little kid. I mean, It's nice to know who they are. When I first <laughs> went, you know, because before I went to school, you know... 
um, I lived in a really small town and, and, and uh, we were kind of isolated and it was it was good and then we went to school and it's like god people are dicks and I've always thought that so yeah. it that part really hasn't changed if for anything me. it's like veils have been lifted perhaps yeah yeah and so you, you get exposed to um, not not only in person I mean the, the geez any media outlet good lord uh, reading it's just not a good idea yeah, I've I've almost abandoned well, I think Facebook. It's, you know. Well, yeah, that I understand that. Um, I think it's good to be informed, um, and so I I try to stay informed, and uh, so does David, and we let you know the important stuff. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I see. The thing is, pre social media, I never read the newspapers. I never watched the news. I just, I, it's just that stuff's beyond me, and I just, meh, whatever. It's not that I don't vote. I do vote. I do care. I take care of my friends and loved ones and anybody that's in need. But I just don't... I think politicians, I don't care whose side they're on. I think they're bums, man. I think they're garbage. They, you have to be rich to be a politician. And I just don't trust them. I don't trust any of them. So. But that doesn't mean that you're like not going to work to vote out. No, that no, dude. I'm. I'll stand in line, <laughs> literally from sun up to sundown. Because there are people. A lot of people are in it for themselves on all sides of things. But we have learned here that there are, you know, there are, you know, it. it there are worse outcomes if you if you don't try and, yeah. to engage in like, you know. And that and that ha and that happens down ballot too in local elections and sure, you know, sure. I think people are becoming more active. It's um, like though this question is being asked of people that aren't super political, and so um, it's it's weird, you know. What I, is me and you? Well, yeah. Oh I mean, no, but I think no, I think it's an I think it offers interesting pers you know perspectives because maybe in my younger days. It it wouldn't have mattered to me to wait in a long line to vote, but it sure does now, and I think you could say the same. So if anything, oh certainly, certainly, yeah. I mean, and I and I hope that a lot of people feel that way. You know, they're gonna be watching our state. That's for sure. Yeah, it's political ad time. Yeah. <laughs> Fun. Um, all right. Well, let's switch gears. And they want to know what bands we've been enjoying. I'll let you take that one because I I get introduced to a lot of new stuff through Lisa and well it's you just can talk I don't about old stuff too. You listen to and we both listen to oldies radio, to jazz and standards radio. Um, so sometimes a new discovery might be an old discovery. Oh well, sure, sure. Like for example, I heard a really nice Perry Como tune on the way to work today. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, but I would say I've been listening to, you know, good um, Australian jangle pop, um, Rolling Blackouts, Coastal Fever, keeping that Australian and uh, New Zealand, that part of the world has always uh, put out really good indie rock, I, I think, so... I like certainly... that. I like um, stuff like Wooden Ships and... Oh, gosh, yes. Um... The Black Angels, uh, and that and the guy, a rip that Ripley guy from Wooden Ships has a new thing, not just Moon Duo, but uh, Rose City Band, which is a little bit more like Grateful Dead, kind of. That a, Ty Siegel thing that you just got. Ty is Siegel, good. enjoy is great. that. Um, I've been listening to uh, uh, Dead Moon. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, I've been listening to all kinds of stuff. The Stooges, you know, just all kinds of stuff. John Prine. There's a, a guy, a songwriter a guy out now uh, called John Moreland that's just amazing. Just a really amazing songwriter, singer um, guy. He's from Oklahoma. Um, <laughs> I mean, we listen to everything, you know. Mm -hmm. We're not... We're not um, there's a really good show that you all can stream, I think, anywhere in the world, perhaps. Um, don't know about that, I think. Um, for one of our local stations, WVXU. 
and they rerun um, this radio show. I think it's on tonight called Jazz with OT, where the old jazz DJ Oscar Treadwell, who is super knowledgeable, um, just plays all kinds. And it's not just jazz. He plays all kinds of stuff. But um, he, he uh, I mean, there were songs written about him, right? Didn't oh. I'm pretty sure. Like... Os and Oscar oh, for some Treadwell. Of, some of the jazz dudes, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not real up on jazz. Um, well, but. it's just, it's a really relaxing show. Um, his voice is really soothing. So that's my recommendation. WVXU.org. Anyway, it's on there somewhere. Um, they ask about the fall. Do you want to tell them why we, why, how we tried and failed to cover We did try the to fall. cover the fall, and, um, it's really hard, uh, especially if you're into melody. I mean, they're not. They're not. Because um, I love the fall. I but... I absolutely adore the fall, but their songs are hard to do. I mean, they 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 are. I'm trying. What's the word? Insular. They're a very well a, drums. A bands that are in and of themselves, and it's really tough. And drums do drums play a big, play a big part. Um, he does that sort of Rex Harrison speak singing, <laughs> and. Um, which I love to listen to, but I I fail miserably at. We uh, yeah, because we tried I, <laughs> we tried to cover two or three songs and it it just we just didn't sound good, you know. Um, we didn't do them justice, and and you can't do that to somebody that you adore. Sorry. Um. So we did an unrest song instead. Mm-hmm. And I don't think we did too bad. And I thought, well, we did it. I, I did think of the fall. For some reason, that story, I don't know if I read it on Twitter or heard it on BBC Six, maybe, where a guy, a guy in a, he was in another band that I had heard of. I can't remember which one. I'm sorry. But he, he was driving around Manchester and, and Marky e. Smith got in the fella's car thinking he was like his Uber driver. And the fellow knew who he was, and he thought, well, how funny. Was it the LCD sound system? <laughs> it might have been, but he was like, well, Marky Smith's in my car. I'm not going to correct him. So he just sort of drove him where he ne needed to go. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my perfect. favorite story that's about perfect. the fall. Um, that sounds like something you would do um, on either side, either one of yeah, them. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I could be either You could one be Marky e. Smith. You could be the guy driving the vehicle. Regardless, I wouldn't interrupt with the uh, discourse. Yeah. Uh, so what things have you been watching? I, Fargo just started. It's here in the States. It's playing right now. And I will watch it in full tomorrow. But I didn't want to uh, not do this interview. Um, so I'm excited to see this season. Uh, Joe Parra talks with you. That's yeah, the best yeah, thing going that's, that's a right really now. Good show. Lots of, you know, just lots of horror movies, crummy horror movies. Um, me, anyway. She's, I watch things on so, like Sven Gulli. Yeah, He's yeah. He's a local horror host. And I really hope that you have those in the UK and elsewhere. It's um, a, but it's, it's not an American film. We've been watching a show actually from the UK um, where this um, antiques dealer takes these three people to france the french collection yeah and they they shop for stuff and then sell it in the uk some of them are really good at it and some of them are really bad at it and it's just it's an interesting show um uh, it, it, it we miss bargain hunt and cash in the attic ah bargain hunt <laughs> which ian our old driver that you guys damnably got for us we called retirement television <laughs> What is Jaunty found in the attic this time? Yeah. <laughs> Two Staffordshire dogs. Sorry, that's my impression of cats yeah, I, in the attic. I'm sure they're like, Christ, that's Sorry. a terrible <laughs> English accent. No, but I, it's more the cadence. I like how... Uh, the guy's name's Jaunty Herndon. Jaunty Herndon. That's great. And Paul Hayes. Paul Hayes. There he yeah. is in his beetle boots. There's Paul his Hayes. His Nehru collar. <laughs> Sorry. But we adore it. It's it's, it's good. It's the best. It's 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 the it is the best. Um, I'm trying to think of something else I've watched. I don't know. I that show you were watching when I got here. Oh, dead to me. Yeah, that's my soap. 
<laughs> it's like watching soaps, but I love it. Um, I've got 18 minutes left. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, what comedy show, this is the last question, would you most like the cameo in and have a song on? I, for me, it would be <laughs> Joe Para Talks With You. Yeah, I, I agree. There's yeah. a song on that they have on there that is like supposedly the biggest hit of 1980. In the dining called room. Called In the Dining Room. And we listened to it for like the first 10 seconds thinking, wait, wait, is this... Is this a song? I don't know this song. And it, of course, it was all and the made best up. part. All the people at the party know the lyrics. So, so you really do feel like that maybe it was a, a hit you've song. missed out on something. I would like to write a song like that for a show. We should cover it. I think that would be a good one to. Cover. I'm working on it. I have the lyrics printed out. So, look out, world. Well, those were great questions. Thank you all. Yeah. Thanks, thanks George um, and Jan. And happy happy birthday or. I think I said Happy Easter on the thing we recorded, the song, but it's not really Easter. It's, it's not Easter even... everywhere. Oh, there we go. 13th floor elevator yep. reference. Pretty fucking cool, huh? Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> well, guys, sorry that we, uh, we failed to effervesce, but we answered you the know, questions. Well, we're not effervescent people, so, you know, you're seeing the fireworks. <laughs> See ya.